So here I am, on my way to Miami. Registered for a great event. I wanted to go in and learn as much as I possibly can from the best of the best in the world. Professional trainers, specifically guys like Drew Hanlon, um, Devin the Lab, Micah Lancaster. Those guys really caught my attention. So I decided to take this trip to further my career and what I do and see how I can utilize what they know and take it to the next level. Cause we outside. Back to folk, I don't need no spaddies, baby. I do it if you let me. I just if you let me. Bro, you know if you fire? Let me like you never met me. Yo. You think that's high school? It's a high school. I know it's a high school, but I'm saying, like, you think they're in high school? They might be. I was just there last week. Hey, I got my boy Chuck with me. Chuck, you still got it, bro? Oh, backboard killer. Backboard killer, Chuck. Explain yourself. Explain yourself, man. Yeah, my shit, my shit, my shit, my shit right now, though. Niggas, niggas is catching the L. <laughs> nah, 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 I got y'all, I got y'all. <laughs> say that, say that. Two, we just checked in the hotel. We at Shula's. We gonna show y'all what the hotel room look like. Keep it PG, Chuck. What you think? To be honest, it's a great venue right now. It's, it's beautiful out there. You feel me? Trying to say the weather's beautiful. Oh, that was quick. Two twenty-one, I believe. Well, Two twenty-one, Chuck. Hold on, let me see. Bear with me. Two two one one. Two two one one. Two two one yeah, one. That's definitely a smooth venue. All right. What we on like a country club right now? It's like the AAU days. So, no bigger and better room, but you know, <laughs> same vibe, same two, two, vibe, one, just right a little here. bit different. Closet. All right, real simple. Got on that situated. Getting up out of here. about to be out we about to get there in about 15 minutes or so so I'll check back in with you guys so from my hotel to the event was probably about a 10 15 minute drive it was very convenient and I'm just ready here we go man
That's all good. Uh, what do I need? You can just scan this, sign the waiver, and then okay. just keep moving down. You might have to like this. That's crazy. Who's from Florida? So we're the minority here. Sorry. <laughs> Who flew over an ocean to get here? Shit. That's crazy. <laughs> Philippines over here, 24 hour flight. Give it up for him. That's big right there. That's huge. And I know we got some, some more of y'all, not just him. But I, I had that conversation last night. So, man, first of all, it's, it's, it's unbelievable to be here. Um, a couple few, or a couple few, a few rules um, just to kind of go over first. Number one, make sure we're not taking any videos. A lot of players are right here. Ball and foot. Pick up, step, and finish. Okay, ball and foot, pick up, step, and finish. Ball and foot, pick up, step, You know what I mean? You gotta learn how to take hits first, and then you gotta learn how to duck, and then you gotta learn how to jab, and then you gotta learn. You piece it up, and you build it up. So I would do exactly what I did, where you start out, one on zero, drives. Then you go change direction, drives. Then you go one on one with the W defender where you're gonna advantage. Then I would move that defender at an angle where they don't have an advantage, so that now you have to change directions as well. Then I put the defender in front of them and say, we're fucking live, let's go, you only can finish in the paint. You know what I mean? You just build up. And put restrictions on them and force them to do what you want them to do. Yeah. You gotta turn me up in the headphones some more. my man. Um, I don't know if it's going to be that good. You hyped it up a little bit, but uh, um, so let me give you a quick interaction. They step into their workout and it's like every little thing they're worried about, they're going to strain a hamstring at some point. They're too high strung. They have too much tension. Their thoughts creates too much tension throughout their body that cannot be released. And if you can't release tension and contract and relax appropriately, then you're going to get hurt. So the next day, I'm gonna keep it real, man. I'm tired. I showed up a little bit late. Um, I don't think I missed too much, but me and Charles had, you know, gone out to see South Beach. And I'm gonna keep it real. It's not really my scene. There's a lot of weird stuff going on there. So if you're hitting up South Beach, and you a person that like to stay in control of your energy and around good, good people, probably not for you. Good morning. Um, I would like uh, the number two, please. The drink? Orange juice. Okay. Yeah, that would be all. Would you like to try any black donuts? Uh, no, thank you. top-down movers, so they usually do this. Really hingy, really flexed. But if I say, okay, your constraint, your movement constraint is you gotta get down here, and play everything down here. What is that training? He don't know that. I'm an introvert, so I actually don't like necessarily doing all this type of stuff, but, um, you know, I just see like a, a wave of training and coaching and I see the game of basketball going in a positive direction and I know I have the opportunity to help a lot of people out. So that's what I'm here today. I get past, you know, being an introvert just for the day and, and just uh, catering towards you guys. So if you guys don't mind, uh, for some of you out there, why help improve, right? Everybody's always like, oh, look at this. Let's make this go viral, this and that. Everybody's seen it, right? Let's look at this drill. You ain't in the trenches with them, don't judge them. If you don't agree with it, so be it. But why don't you go make your own way? A lot of that is 
hating because they ain't able to create their own way. So now they got to try to bring down somebody else who, who experienced a more success from them. That's not the way to go about stuff. You don't bring down somebody to bring yourself up. It don't work like that. So you do what you do. You put out what you believe is successful and you train the players so you train. There are a lot of people the, who, who, who works the best for you are the people, right? When the people speak for you and your success, it means more than what others hating on you say, right? I've had those like, yo, like, Deb know his stuff. I don't know what the fuck you talking about, but Deb knows his stuff. Like, I was, I've been with him. You seeing all this, but like, I'm with him. So like, why you over there hating and sounding salty? Like, I'm here. is a very short time for me to try to unwrap everything that I'd like to get to, so I'm gonna try to go quickly. Um, but uh, I'm also never afraid of questions on the spot, so if I skip over something or if I, if you had a question on something that I was talking about, feel, feel free to raise your hand, um, and I may be able to do that as we go to player development coach. Um, let me just go ahead and, and go back in time. Let me tell you my story a little bit. So. Um, I played, I was 4'11 as a freshman in high school, I was 5'2 as a sophomore, so my uh, early life in basketball was always that you're never going to be able to play college basketball, and so most of the people in my life were, you know, the coaches that I had always kind of steered me towards the typical game situational stuff, or I should say the role-based stuff. You're too short, you're too slow, you're never really going to be able to do anything with this game except this, this, and that, right? So I had to shoot the three, maybe do some floaters, other than that, drive, get in the paint, jump stop, and kick. That was about the much, as much as I ever learned about how I was ever gonna be successful. Now, one of the best themes in my life, and as a, a trainer and as a player, is that I did not have a trainer. Me over the years and, and have asked me, like, hey, I've had, I've had different NBA coaches and assistants or whatever say, can I come to you and you teach me how to be creative? And, because I'm known for being creative. But one thing I want you guys to, to realize, or see, is that I don't see those things or the things that I'm doing as creative. It's a creative process, but it, it's because I'm looking at it from, from a completely different perspective. If you're trying to be creative for the sake of being creative, you're already gonna mess something up. You're not gonna so at this point, I took off a little bit early. I had to catch a flight. And quite honestly, I didn't heard from the people who I really wanted to hear from. So at that point, after about 16 hours of, you know, just learning, I was ready to go and get back to the 508.